Most of the time, there's more than one person working on your business manager. So in this section, I will show you how to allocate the right access to your team members. So let's dive into it. In this episode, I want to show you how to allocate roles and permissions in your business manager. You want to go to business settings in the right hand corner. You want to go to people and you want to click on add. Here, you want to type in the name of the team member and allocate the appropriate role for that person depending on task. In this case, I would like my team member to become an admin and have all access to my account. Make sure that at least two people on your team are admins. Uh, the rest you can make employees, and this is for safety reasons. The difference between employees and admins is what access they have to the accounts. Admins can see all accounts in the business manager and edit financial details. Employees will only see the ad accounts that you grant access to and will not be able to edit financial information. You can, however, go to advanced options and select finance analyst or finance editor. If you only want to grant access to this part of the accounts. But in this case, I want to make my employee admin. And you want to type in the name here. Select the email and click next. Here, you want to select the assets that you want your team member to have access to. Page and add account. If you in the previous step selected admin access for your team member, you want to select it here as well. Just make sure that you fill it in for both the ad account and for the page. If you only granted your team member the employee access, you can set the permissions here as well. If we move down, you can see catalogs and apps. For this business manager, we don't have a catalog yet, so uh, we won't be setting this up just yet. We want to make sure that we have our page and our ad account and then we want to click invite. So the invitation has been sent and Lisa will find an email in her inbox with the details on how to proceed. Then you get two options here. You can add more people to your team or you can select done. For this I'm done. And now we can see that we got Lisa at salesdirectacademy.com is pending. And here you will be able to see the assigned assets uh, that will show up after a while. Uh, for example, if we look at my name he up here, you can see that I've got the admin access and you can see the assets assigned to me. You can see the page, Z Academy and the ad account Salster Academy. If you, for some reason, uh, want to remove uh, this email address, maybe you got the wrong one, simply go down to requests, go to invitations, and then it's a bit out of the picture, but you can see it here. It says cancel. You click cancel, and it says, Are you sure you want to cancel the invitation for Lisa at salsteracademy.com? And select cancel invitation. Lisa has now been removed and if you go up to people again you will only see my name again. So hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I'll see you next time.